um, 27 years old, part of the local 250. She met uh, pipe fitters. Um, you know, people look at me and would never expect that I was previously incarcerated. Um, I've been now in January, well, January 17, I'll be out five years now. Five years. Yeah, after doing a seven year sentence. I'm out here prospering in life, making the right decision, right choices in a life where society might have deemed me unrehabilitatable um, through the practice of trying me as an adult. Um, but I'm living proof that if given a second chance, we, we can prosper and do the right things. One of the senators that I, uh, some of the people in the that I spoke to, they didn't have a lot of time. They, they were super busy. So I said, listen, you don't have a lot of time. I'm not going to waste your time by trying to talk your ear off. I just want to show you something. And I literally did. I gave them this card, which is my old prison ID. I showed it to him. He looked at it for a second. Then I went in my other pocket. And I took you out. And I showed him this college ID. And I said, that is the difference, sir. That is the difference. And he said, enough said. And he was like, honestly, speechless for a few seconds. My name is Adriel Pittman, and um, as being a part of the Project ID, I had to think of a concept or a way to show that I'm not the same person um, as my prison ID had explained for me to be. So my ID could not define me, nor could it reflect what's inside me. Free, gifted, advocating for advanced, this is ignited dedication, this ID that looks forward and doesn't reflect my past. My name is Jared Williams. I'm director of research at the Gatal Center for Health Equity and Justice, and that is my future ID. So I use research um, to close and repurpose prisons and jails across the country. Starting in 2016, a core group of project collaborators began working on creating a set of ID-inspired artworks. Together, we facilitated art and future planning workshops and public programs. The workshops provided a structured environment for participants to conceive and develop a vision for a future self, for a dream job, a role in society, or a continuing role with family, such as father or mother. During this artistic process, the core team decided to focus on the future and came up with the title, Future IDs. The whole project is centered around uh, identity, which is reclaiming their identity and re-identifying yourself with your internal and your external. More than merely representations of functional documents, the ID-inspired artworks express self-created identities in stark contrast to prison-issued IDs. There's you know, something that, you know, they constantly remind me and they help me uh, keep my vision in front of me. At the end of the day, this is where I want to be. A lot of times, men get the majority of the attention for uh, having been incarcerated or in prison. Women still seem to be stigmatized by it and have a form of embarrassment for it, a shame for society. And, that, and that's a hard place to come from and overcome for many people. As a highly visible culmination of this multi-year project, we are currently producing future IDs at Alcatraz. The year-long exhibition at the iconic Prison Turn National Park in San Francisco Bay will open in fall 2018 in partnership with the National Park Service and its nonprofit partner, the Golden Gate National Parks Conservancy. On the third Saturday of each month, the installation will be accompanied by a series of public programs and events co-curated with local justice organizations and community members. Together, the Future ID artwork generates a dynamic visualization of individual stories of transformation, a testament to the power of direct personal narrative. Every one of us is planning our future, moving forward with an existing plan or choosing to move forward without one. We don't always think of people in prison or those with conviction histories as having a future. Thank you.